Sellers, pay attention to this one. We've got advice from an industry leading expert here on today's Real Talk. Today, we have the wonderful Jane Wolcott, my mom. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Uh, mom, you've been in the business for many, many years and obviously have learned a lot about the real estate business. In this market, it's very important for sellers to be very careful and considerate when they're going to market to make the most of their money. What are some of the most important considerations that you think sellers should make when they're thinking about going to market? Obviously, uh, presenting it to its abs- the house to its absolute best to the marketplace. We have, you know, there's one chance through the photographs and through the personal visit from the buyer to make that first impression. So, you know, starting at the street, making sure the house is tidy at the front door, sometimes just having some greenery or some flowers, um, just making it, it exciting. Once you get inside the house, you know, a clean, tidy house, shiny windows, the whole the whole um, package is important. Yeah, it really is important to take all of those things into consideration. It seems like such a small thing just to maybe clean your windows, but it makes a huge difference on that first Absolutely. impression with the buyer. And then of course, we do a lot of staging um, for, 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 I would say, most of our listings. Uh, how would you say that area of the industry has changed over the last 15 or 20 years? Oh my goodness. Uh, we used to actually do it ourselves and you know it used to just be a checklist and walking through and making sure mm-hmm. the furniture was in the the right position and we had uh, the odd person that we would hire to come in um, then we started borrowing furniture from our own houses to to make these houses look great um, now we've grown to having a full staging warehouse with thousands of items we've got staff uh, that three dedicated staff that work with our with our homes um, and this service is absolutely free to the clients too i mean the amount of furniture that we put in a home could cost up to four thousand dollars a month and this is absolutely free to the consumer it's all yeah it's all baked into whatever package they decide absolutely. to use with us mm-hmm. um, now that's obviously physical staging so we've got our warehouse and our actual physical furniture but then there's the option of virtual staging which we're seeing more and more of these days what do you think about virtual staging? What are your thoughts on it? Um, it can work in some cases. Um, sometimes it's a case of do we need a, a quick turnaround or if it's a, a vacant home, uh, it, it, it's, it sometimes can work. Um, we do, you know, maybe 10% of ours will be virtual. Most of it is hands-on in the house. Yeah, sometimes they just, they need that house on the market right now for one reason or another and it's not physically possible to, yeah. to stake mm-hmm. it up mm-hmm. for what it needs. Around the office, you are the undisputed pricing guru, the pricing professional. Everybody's going to you for pricing. So I wanted to give everybody a bit of an insight on on kind of what you're looking for in the market when you're pricing a property. What are you looking for in terms of like recent sales uh, to get to that price that makes a difference when you hit the market? Yes, I don't know how I got that reputation. (laughs) Um, And I think a lot of it is I, I do have a very good memory for properties. Um, I mean, it's to price a home properly, you want to find a house that's sold as recently as possible that's as similar to the subject. Um, in some cases, though, uh, if the home is very unique, you know, we're kind of, we have to look, at, in today's market, we want to look at something that's, you know, that's sold very recently. Um, this market's moving so quickly that it's almost, you know, if it's a 30 day old sale, it's it's almost too dated to look at. I know, which I've never it's seen just, before. No, it's, yeah. it's, you know, we used to look at six months out. That's not possible anymore. Yeah, it's kind of 30, 30, 30 plus days is irrelevant. Yeah. Um, which really narrows down your list. So then you're, you're kind of racking your brain on, on finding these comparable components of these properties. Absolutely. If you only have, if you're 30 days out, you're only going to have three or four or five on a good day yeah. properties to kind of compare it to, right? Yeah, the market always shifts. I mean, it's, I've seen, we've got, been through this over 20 years and um, yeah, every, every home is different. Every home is different. Well, that's great. A lot of great advice. Thank you very much for coming on, mom. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> All right.